Hello there. Ribbit and all that. Welcome to the stream. So, Jack is out sick. I have a free day today. And I had a few things that I'm in the middle of streaming. Uh, Book of Mario. What was the other thing? I'm in the middle of three games. And I also had plans for a couple of game prototypes I have waiting. But unfortunately, a graphics driver seems to have screwed up many of the emulators. Except one. Well, two. Dolphin works. And, uh... PS1 works. Which means, against my better judgment, it's time to finish Frogger. Is it going to show up, though? Oh, you guys don't hear it. I bet it's on the wrong uh, audio device. There you go. Alright, turn it down to a reasonable volume. I remember I had to change the mixer for Frogger. I don't remember exactly what I said it to. Boy, it's been a while. I've been putting this off for a long time. And after last stream, can you blame me? Now, supposedly, we did the hardest level in the game last time. We're up to the final world. However, uh... Despite having done the single hardest level, supposedly the final world has many also very difficult levels. So I don't know how long this will take us. Uh. You'll give me just a second. I want to double check my own audio levels on stream because it has been so long since I've done this. How you doing, Darian? Okay, hello, hello, testing self. Yeah, the game's a little quiet, but I'll turn it up a little bit. Uh, what else was I in the middle of? I'm in the middle of Book of Mario, this, and one other game. I'm completely drawing a blank on what else I was playing. We tried this the last time I played. We, we started the first uh, desert level. We didn't finish it. But it did not seem as bad as the sewer levels. The sewer levels were pretty atrocious. And now I... Is after, how long has it been? It's been like... It's been a, a few months, I think. Two or three months. Shake off the rust. Oh, hello. Boy, that's a, that's a noise. That's a sound effect that I remember. So this, it did end up being a 100% run. We've gotten all the golden frogs. We might as well get the last one or two. I assume the banana is like a final boss or something. That's my operating assumption. Do I even want to go on this end? Maybe I should just go to the far end. The end of the Buffalo Stampede. Maybe I'll find Simba. Maybe not. Ugh. I should also point out that if I hop into any of the cacti, I explode. Even the tall ones. I knew the small ones would do that. 
There's a lot of things that will cause Frogger to explode. I, man, it'd be great if you could just not jump into the cacti instead of exploding on them if it was just a wall. I guess that's ask, asking too much, though. <sighs> oh, there's a snake there. Okay, he just goes back and forth. Go! Oh, there's... I can't go on the bones, really? go in a circle. It's just, it's pattern memorization. This is no different than Dark Souls. Okay, so I know there's a purple fella there. I know there's stuff up here, and I have to work with the cam camera. Oh boy, how high does this go? How many of these guys are there? They can walk on the rocks, that's not fair. Okay, blue guy. These are my children. Shouldn't they have names? There's Frogger, Pogger, uh, Nogger. He's the festive one. Flogger is into some weird stuff. Grogger likes to partake. And Leslie. That name was the wife's choice. Oh, what what are those polygonal butterflies? All two polygons. Okay, snake over here. That's right, logger. Logger can be another one. is the third game I'm playing. I played it more recently than Book of Mario. Book of Mario I've been putting off for a long time, as well as this game. So I know there's two on the left side. I assume there's two on the right side. I need to scope out the middle of the map. Oh, there's birds. So this would count as right side. You go back and forth. There must be something in this kind of center area. Oh, there, okay, there's a purple... No, I got the purple one already, didn't I? Or is that a pink one? Is that a different frog? I got so that's one of the two left sides is purple here. Ah, it's effective the cacti. So I got the back center still to explore. I've said this every single time I've streamed this game. This game doesn't need lives. A lot of games of this era didn't need lives. Just let me keep going until I, I finish it. You don't need to punish me with repeated menus. <gasps> I'm sorry, there's, there's a lot of that in this game. Okay. Snake. Ah, it turns around! I 
I did finish Trials. I could start another Trials game anytime I feel like it. Okay, back center. I'm, I'm back here. Now I just gotta watch for Cacti. There's a red fella there. I don't remember if I've gotten the red. <gasps> Camera. Oh! Lasting hitbox, what? <sighs> I wonder how I get to red. I think, have I gotten to red before? I also did see a bird, so that's going to be, like, the last one, I'm sure. Bird's probably probably at the end of that rock path that I was just at. Oh, there's the red guy. He's just sitting over here is all. He's not hard to get. So I know of two on the left. I know of red on the right. Which sounds like the name of some kind of political sitcom. I'll bet there's two up here on this path. I probably can't jump down that. Yeah, there's orange here, and then I'm going to have to ride a bird, aren't I? Well, let's see if I can make it. Ah! Okay, well, they're all accounted for. I know where they're all at. Most of them are up this left side. In some form or another. I just got to... I got to hoof it. I got to go a little faster is all. I can do that. If I know where I'm going, it's not too bad. Oh! Okay, that's fine. I needed to get him anyway. No, I'm not doing any more Dragon Quest Builders. That was a one and done. I've considered doing full streams of those games in the future. To do them justice. The part that I did was the worst part I possibly could have done a single stream of. Which I did not realize going in because I went in blind. Time flies. I get it. I wonder if that was intentional. Okay, that's the most difficult frog. He, he's taken care of. Now I just have the two on the left. I'm good. I'm fine. No harm done. Crash. That was the other game I was playing, of course. I played some of that today, Crash 4. I've gotten the first two Platinum Relics. The first one took me two or three hours to do. 
Second one was not as bad. Still took me a while. But, uh, yeah, if I were to do all the Platinum Relics, they would probably be, like, an entire stream per Relic. That would not be conducive to streaming, I think, getting all of the Platinums. And then, once I got it, it turns out there's developer times that are even crazier than the Platinum times. Times which I could never hope to achieve. I have no idea what kind of speedrun nonsense is required for the uh, Crash 4 Toys for Bob times. Thank God cut running into a wall doesn't make me explode. It is, it is a sort of accumulated skill, though, so I'm sure that uh, as I continue future Platinum Relics will come easier and crash. Because really, the main thing is just pressing the spin button and timing for the new triple spin mechanic, which I still don't like, but the game is the game. So once I get this guy, I'll just have the ground level purple and red. Okay. This is this is it. This is the this is the run. I say. I jinx myself if I say that, so I shouldn't say that. Purple acquired. I don't actually know which level, which of these levels the golden frog is on. Hopefully it's fairly obvious. Okay, just Mr. Mr. Redfella. Just nice and slow. I got plenty of time for this. I didn't know that one went that far. I'm really gonna- I'm gonna die here. After getting four frogs, I'm gonna die before I can get one of the easiest ones. I just- I never go to this side of the level! How far am I? Do I- I don't want to be this far. I'm too far. We're fine. Plenty of time. Ah, it's the same rock again! This is my last chance, I believe. I really don't want to have to start this level over again. Okay, where where is this rock gonna go? What's a safe spot? Are there safe spots? I did it. Oh, thank God. How much worse is the next level gonna be? Okay, we got a... 
Oh, that's only one wide. I see. I will have to jump over the bugs. I guess. Oh, you go this way! I, th I thought he was going to turn. Because where else would the bugs be coming from that I just jumped over? I did build a, bri a big uh, bridge in the nether. In an effort to find nether wart, which I never did, I did find one of the blue mushroom biomes, though, which was also something I was on the lookout for. So, mission accomplished there, at least. I don't like the... Already, I don't like this level. It's all... Tiny, narrow paths that aren't even walls. I can jump off of them. Okay, there's a bird there. It's optimistic of me. Okay. So I can go this way to get rocked. Rock the dragon. Oh, that was a bad one? I was, I was, I don't know. I was in a hurry. The, uh, the nether wart blocks, the ones that the mushrooms are made of, are actually useful for making paths out of in the nether, I found, because uh, those big stupid pigs don't spawn on them. They spawn on almost every other block, but not on the, on the wart blocks. Okay, well let's go up the let's go up the big rock candy mountain here. They want you to use the hidey holes, but it's really just as effective to just go under the rocks. Oh, okay. So because this is a single tile pathway I am forced to get the frogs in order <sighs> and in fact to get the later ones I might I, th I think I have to uh, go under the rocks I don't have time for the hidey holes But by the time I finish this level, I'm going to have so hard memorized every location that those rocks bounce in. Like here, this spot, I don't want to stay in. Boy, this is a climb. How did you get up here, little guy? Okay, so that's two accounted for. There is one way down on the bottom I need to get to somehow.
you mentioned uh, Dragon Quest Builders. I would like to get the first game, which people didn't really like the first game. It was kind of, it wasn't until 2 that they ironed out a lot of the quality of life features that uh, got people to like, like the idea. But I am interested in the first game just because I liked the second one so much that I would like more. Ugh, of all the places I could have jumped. Okay, so the bird goes down to the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Where do you go? Nowhere? Okay, off to a wall. Awesome. Oh! Okay, well that worked out. Is there anything over here? There's not see- there's just bugs. Okay. Okay, red guy's all by himself. Which means the other two are probably further down the bug path. How many of you are there? Four? <sighs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I got the uh, soundtrack for Code Geass R2 today. I've only had the soundtrack to the first half of the series for the longest time, just because I'm, I'm lazy. That's, uh, so I cannot turn in Super Hop at the same time. That's a very specific opening I need to find for that bug crossing. Uh, music. I have a lot. I have a lot of just like scattered little files from things from back when uh, LimeWire was a thing, and there was just a bunch of uh, mislabeled, shitty files of music f going all over the internet. And I want to like uh, buckle down and fill out my collection in pro like proper. One of the big ones I want to get is the uh, Inuyasha soundtrack, because it's actually very nice listening music. It's a very well-made orchestral stuff, very similar to Kingdom Hearts. Which, actually, I don't know if I... I don't remember if I mentioned this on stream, but I discovered... Watching the Kingdom Hearts 1 credits... Maybe we pointed this out when we streamed it. But, uh... Kaoru Wada, the composer for Inuyasha, was the orchestrator for Kingdom Hearts 1. And you can really hear it listening to the two side by side. I don't know if she did the uh, other, the orchestrations, arrangements for the other Kingdom Hearts or not. This is a cool crossover discovery, though. I, I hate the I hate this bug path, and I got to do it twice because presumably there's two frogs down this way. Hey, that was a that was a belch is what that was. <sighs> okay, all right. I gotta I gotta be real slow and careful. The, uh, the golden frog, by the way. 
is Frogger's Gen Z child, who he doesn't have a lot of success connecting with. His name is, uh, Blogger. This is totally one of those hurry-up-and-wait games. You know those... Every, everything is just the such precise timing. If I remember correctly from the last time, the previous times we played this game, we learned that the... first cycle... is its own thing. When the level first loads in. And every cycle after that is identical in terms of the positions of things. <sighs> okay, so now this should all be the same every time. Should have waited. Maybe not, though. What even are these bugs? Are these like scarabs? Nondescript beetles? I made it. Okay. Oh god, I'm past that part. Now I got one more stupid bug part to get through. I can't even really do that safely because I gotta jump backwards again in order to be positioned for super hop. Okay, now- Ah, oh, there's a rock there! Could we do without the timer, please? So I got time to, like, stop and look for hazards? It's- I'm, it's such mixed messages. I gotta hurry because there's a 50, I gotta do this in less than a minute. But I also gotta like, stop and watch for hazards that I can't see coming. I really just gotta memorize the entire level before I have any chance of success. How are, how are bugs even defeating this frog? A, it's bigger than them. Two, frogs eat bugs. You know what would help this game tremendously? I This wouldn't even be so bad if... The big thing screwing this level is the fact that I need to change direction. I need to do a regular hop in a direction before I can super hop, which this level requires lots of super hopping. If I could, like, bind the right stick to immediately super hop in a direction... That, that, by itself, would save this level. Got greedy. Boulder Alley. Alley is right. I guess I should have guessed there'd be rocks, given the name Boulder Alley. I got three out of five frogs without encountering a single boulder. Maybe it's just set in Boulder, Colorado.
Nope. Okay, so if that happens, I just need to back up. I just need to go, like, all the way back to the previous fork and try again, I suppose. Because I don't know what else I could do in that situation. I play the level so many times that I get impatient. I want it to be over with. Especially since... Yeah, there's that thing in games where you've done a part so many times over. You think, oh, I've done this a million times. I just need to do it again. Which, no, it's, it's never that easy in Frogger. They use, they use the time flies. To really make... There's multiple. There's rocks all the way along that ramp. I saw the first one come down, and I thought, okay, that's the that's the rock I know about. That one's gone. I have an opening. I didn't have an opening. There's a, there's a whole line of rocks. Yep, gotta go back. <laughs> okay, somehow I managed that. I guess I've got my game plan. I don't like it, but I know what I'm doing. Okay, line of rocks. I don't know what my time is like. Is there one on this first... Okay, two tiles in. They seem to go more or less in sequence. Nope, there's one on the end, too. The end is not a safe point. I thought, oh, this will be a place where I can rest and prepare for f the next line of rocks. Nope, lines of rocks are the end, too. I wonder if uh, that person on YouTube is still following these videos, even months apart. If so, I salute you. Thank you for continuing to watch. What? <gasps> As for the, uh, the emulation issue, I'm having it with, uh, well, I have two prototypes I want to try. Some fans compiled or attempted to recreate a Space World demo of Zelda Ocarina of Time from before the game's release. There, I think Space World 97. Space World being an old Japanese, like, games expo where Nintendo would often show off new games in early versions. There were famously the uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver Space World leaks. So the two things, the two prototypes I want to stream are the fan-recreated Zelda 64 prototype and the actual Nintendo gold-silver prototype that was, you know, leaked from the, the space world of back then. There's also a fan recreation or a fan completion, I should say, I should say, of the Pokemon Gold and Silver Space World. So someone took the the content from the the Space World Gold and Silver prototypes and fleshed it out into a full like Pokemon region. Which also seems cool. I don't know if I'll do anything with that, but I will play the original prototypes. Unfortunately, uh, VBA and Project 64 are both having the same emulation error with OBS in which they will only show the top left portion of the screen. And no matter what settings I apply, OBS perceives that as being the entirety of the window, so... Unless I can find a workaround, I am currently out of streaming N64 games, and also Game Boy games. I 
I'm hoping it's just uh, an NVIDIA driver issue because I up updated my graphics driver immediately before the problem started happening. So maybe it is just that. And it will be fixed in a future driver update. Boy, I hope so. Or a future OBS update, even. Oh, this is a bad... This is a bad pair of bugs to be between. All the way back again! Are there really two frogs down this path? Par part of me hopes not, because this is such an obscenely difficult thing to traverse. On the other hand, I don't know where the fifth frog could be otherwise. I just, I, if I get... If I miss my opening at that bug crossing, I'm just screwed. I either have to go all the way back to the fork, or die. Those are my only two options. Isn't this a Konami game? We determined that last time. I did it again. Exactly the same spot. Gotta go back. Back to the fork. Samurai Bjork. I hate this. My butthole has never been more clenched. Come on. Oh man, really? Already? And the rocks rubble gets me. Oh, there's three of them. I thought there was always only two above those bugs. have an idea of the pattern. It doesn't seem to change a whole lot on your way up. Ah, oh, except there! I know that's the sparkle on the frog's right knee, but if you look at it for just a quick second, it doesn't look like a knee, it looks like an arm. And it looks like the golden frog is giving you a big one. It's giving you the bird. Much like Toad in Mario 1 has been flipping us the bird for almost 40 years. And some people listening to this are only just realizing. Go on, look at the sprite. I'll wait. mushroom motherfucker. Hello, Freeway Pound. I recognize that name. I know you've been, been around for the streams before. I don't remember which ones you've been around for. We are 45 minutes in. Haven't completed two levels yet. 
I guess that's about on par for Frogger. I wonder what Frogger 2 is like. I really don't know if they eased up on the difficulty. They must have, right? People had to have complained about this. I wonder what those polygonal butterflies do. I wasn't paying attention if they're just point butterflies. What a weird decision to make only those ones. Are they supposed to be, like, special? Because they're not sprites, they're polygons. They're supposed to be, like, really big and valuable. I have a croak. I forgot about that. Does that do anything? So the pattern's similar up until this part, where I gotta book it! <sighs> I think the part that's against the wall on the far top right is safe, maybe? that particular meeting of insects. Maybe if I don't get an, an extra space there, I'll be in a better position. No, I won't. I'm trying to find the secret geometric equation to success, and I'm not finding it. I'm not a mathematician, I'm a fucking frog. If my children hinged on me doing all of this in one life, they'd, they'd be dead. I'm sorry, Daddy couldn't save you. There's no way I could do it. Beat all of Frogger 1 without dying? Not a chance. This spot. Okay, that spot's safe. There's more? I don't know what's safe! Where are we going? Are there two up here? There's one. Okay, so there's one still unaccounted for? Where's that guy? I gotta find a way to get to one more now. I went over there. 
and I gotta do all that over again. So there's only one up there. How do I get to... I think orange is the one I'm missing? He was down in the bottom right somewhere. Well, I know the bird is here. But the bird did not seem to go anywhere else useful. Bird just goes down to this red frog here. And that's it. Yeah, I cannot ride bird anywhere else of significance. more up that way that I can go to? Given the usual structure of these levels, it would make sense for it to be, uh... Usually there's like two frogs per branch and then one kind of in the middle on its own somewhere. Oh, that's the bad one! God damn it! So I know there's two up here. And this doesn't go anywhere else, is the thing. There's no other path that I can take up there, so the other one has to be on the, the godforsaken bug path somehow. Somehow. If I average half an hour per level, this goes to a three-hour stream. That's too optimistic, though. I know better than that. So unbelievably tight. What are these bugs even doing? Where are they going? They don't got food. They're just wandering the desert. Maybe they're hunting frogs. Maybe frogs are at the bottom of the food chain in this world. Despite being the size of cars, approximately. They're very squishy creatures. I, f creatures. I guess that's been proven. They explode very easily. I can't... I don't want to, like, go in the bug cave, do I? I can't do that. If I make it down this path again and I don't see another path, I might have to look up the orange frog. Unless I'm supposed to just, like, jump off of random spots of the cliff. 
and find like a safe landing spot that I would have no way of knowing exists. Oh, what? So not only can I not enter the cave, attempting to do so will spit me back out and kill me for no reason. That wasn't a lethal drop height. What? Back to the fork. <sighs> and I can't rush through that for an opening either. Some of the bug gaps I can rush through in order to be facing the correct direction. Not this one. What a, what a hateful string of, of bugs. Okay, there's a path. No, that's not a path down there. There's the red guy. Where else could I possibly go? I'm so confused. I can't jump down there. That's too high to survive. I don't, I, I'm out of ideas. I, I think I need to look up the gold, the orange frog. What's this level called? Boulder, Boulder Alley. Frogger, no, not Boulder Valley School District. I don't even know where that is. Zone 8, level 5. Level 8, what? Okay, whatever. There's, there's two videos, both claiming different world and level numbers for Boulder Alley. Okay, uh, this is a very different level from what I'm seeing. There's like crocodiles... Are there multiple versions of Frogger PS1? Let's try Zone 8 Level 2. Oh, Big Boulder Al. Okay. So, there's another version of this level later in this world that is even harder. That's wonderful. I look forward to that. I'm going to skip around a little bit. So, we saw green and blue up top. Red down in the hole. Come on, take me to orange. We saw orange, in fact. We saw him on the screen. We just don't know how to get down to him. Is the last frog this guy goes for. Carl's 493. I, I know this is dreadfully boring. You can't see of what I'm see any of what I'm watching, but I did got this fro oh, frog has defeated me. Okay. Oh. Uh, I don't like that.
So I was right, at least insofar as it is on... It's another case of two frogs per path. We definitely got to take these bug paths, the, this bug route for the first two frogs, because th that's, that's the dangerous part, the stupid bug crossing. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe Big Boulder Alley will actually be easier than this level. I think, I feel like I remember that happening at least once before, is that the intended harder version of the level is actually easier than the first version. Carl's managed to do that okay. I don't know how he did it. He had the power of Judy Neutron cheering him on, I suppose. Almost got greedy there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get up here, and there's our bird friend. I have to wait for him in this particularly unsafe area. A place you do not want to sit and watch to see if a bird is coming. And that he'll take you to the, uh... The cra you're talking about the Crash 4 Relics would take a stream per level. This isn't that bad. Frogger's bad, but it's not that bad. It's not Crash 4 Platinum Relic bad. That said, again, Crash 4 Platinum Relic running is a learned skill. I, I gotta learn the stupid triple spin thing. And once I have that down consistently, each relic will be easier than the last, I foresee. God, the exact wrong bug timing. I'm just, I'm gonna go down to red. I give up on this, this cycle. I'll take an extra life while I'm down here. I can't even imagine doing the Toys for Bob times in Crash 4. It took me so much effort just to get the Platinum time, and then the, the developer time is like 20 seconds below that. I don't know what kind of nonsense speedrun tricks are required for that, but I know I'm incapable of them. So GG. If that's a measurable collectible, then I will definitely not be getting every collectible in Crash 4. I usually like to talk about stuff I'm watching when Jack is on stream, but he is, uh... I don't know when we'll be able to stream together again. I mean, we will, I just... I'm th okay. He's just sick today, and I don't know when his next, you know, time off is. Uh, I finished watching... I rewatched Danny Phantom recently. Is all right. I don't foresee myself ever watching it again. But it was worth watching through in its entirety once. The first few episodes really had that Butch Hartman stink. But after that it kind of kind of found its identity. Got better. It did a cool thing in, uh, uh, it's actually, I don't know if you've watched, anyone here has watched the uh, Jell -O Apocalypse, so this is basically series. I quite enjoy those, and I usually agree with his analyses. The Danny Phantom video was probably the only one that I disagreed on a lot of points on. I did like the- I did- 
Man, four out of five. They did a neat thing where in, in partway through season one, they allow a series altering event to happen. That being the sister discovers a secret identity. Which is cool. It's, I, I like when a series allows, you know, progression and development to happen. A lot of Western ones don't, especially in season one, as was pointed out. That almost never happens. Unfortunately, that's the only time it ever happens in Danny Phantom. They do it that one time and then never again. Until, like, the very finale of the series, when they finally start attempting to address some character stuff. Like, they weren't willing to do it until they knew they were cancelled. Which, I can also see why people say it kind of just doesn't have an ending. It does have an ending, but it leaves a whole lot of loose ends just not addressed. Namely, one very big loose end, that being Valerie, but... Okay, so there there is a safe spot in the center of the path there. That's good to know. Uh, what was it? His ones on... Uh, his Jello Apocalypse videos on late Miraculous Ladybug and... Uh, Cowboy Bebop. And Zelda, for that matter, are all very apt, in my opinion. Ganondorf, the wizard who doesn't know what being a, what a wizard is. <sighs> I hate these bugs. God, I hate these bugs. Get Rainbow Frog. Man! I need that, but I whiffed it. I jumped the gun. Uh, next thing I've started since uh, finishing Danny Phantom is Sailor Moon Crystal. Jack and I decided to... I think Jack is also interested in seeing how the remake came out. We just decided to watch it separately because there's so much that we're watching together. We just don't have the time. And it's way better than the original was. I think that's an unpopular opinion. But I also think that's only an unpopular opinion because of extremely rose-tinted goggles. Because, God, the original Sailor Moon was such hot garbage. And Crystal fixes almost every problem with it. Almost every problem. It's, it's still not amazing, it's just better than the rock bottom that Sailor Moon Classic was. Every... It's always the same sequence. I keep getting stuck in exactly the same spot in exactly the same way. Surely there's a better way to do this. Some manner of timing... I can memorize. And I keep trying to- I keep thinking that's an opening and going for it, and it's not an opening I can go for. And then just like that, I get to this point and I'm out of lives again. Alright, that's, that's fine. That's for the best. Who's done videos on Frogger? Let me look that up while I'm loading the level again. Nitro Rad. If Kadikris could suffer through every Crash 4 Platinum... I wonder if he'd play this game. I wonder if he'd have words about it.
Maybe I won't go for the first opening I see. Maybe I'll do this one. Maybe this is a better place to jump in. Get it? That seemed to work out. I just, I skip, skip an opening. Wait, my safe spot? Wow, oh, I don't like this camera angle. What? You stupid bird! Frogger US is one of the videos. I wonder if there's a... Is this game different in other regions? I wonder what was changed, if so. I wonder if there's a cutting room floor page for this, pa for this game. 100% speed run, speed run in under an hour. God help that man. Yeah, Nitro Rad is like the only notable YouTuber I see with a video on this game. This was on some other consoles. In addition to this PS1 version, it was also on PC. Nope, second opening. Not gonna go for the first one. There we go. I'm frogging smarter, not harder. This, this is an un unreliable bird. I don't like mounting this bird. There's a video on Frogger games from 1980-something to 2019. I wonder what the 2019 Frogger game was. There was a game called My Frogger, or something along those lines, that was like uh, a Tamagotchi-like game. It was very bizarre for the Frogger property. I don't think... Well, I've, we've talked about this. I've, Konami doesn't really seem to know what to do with it. Which could be said of a lot of arcade-era game properties. is The company's not really knowing what to do with them. That's nothing strange or new. That that first big opening is like a trap. They want you to go in that one and get fucked by the way the bugs cross. I hate that one rock. The way it rolls down in that spot always terrifies me. Okay, we got the two hardest ones. We're in a good spot. No, I'm not going to say that because I'm going to fuck myself if I say that. We're in a terrible spot. This is sure to be a lost, uh, lost cause. I, I pulled back too late. I already jinxed it. I'm going to go for red just because he's got an extra life with him. That seems like a good idea. To do sooner rather than later. Uh, the My Frogger game. It was like very anime styled. Tamagotchi kind of thing. Very bizarre concept. I don't plan to ever play it, but it's just fascinating that a game like that exists for the Frogger property. 
Are there any other cutesy Castlevania games besides Kid Dracula? Did they ever attempt something like that with the Castlevania characters and series again? Is there like a chibi Castlevania game? I kind of have a feel for where the safe spots are. Which is not a very reliable way to do things, but you know what? It's the best I got. I just got to do that one more time. I don't like this start. I just wasted a lot of time I don't want to waste. Time I don't have to waste. <gasps> I did it. I'm good. I made it! Oh, thank God that level's over. Two levels. Hour 15. Tumbling Valley. Oh, I like valleys and I like tumbling to the bottom of them. I can't wait for that. Oh, because there's tumbleweeds. I get it. Okay. Crisscross tumbleweeds. Just bouncing back and forth. What is maintaining these tumbleweeds' momentum? Why are they so heavy? that they destroy a car-sized frog. Oh. I don't know why I'm never gonna- No, not load! No, 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 no! No. Thank you for the confirmation screen. I'm never going to load this file again, but I, I, I feel the need to save after a level like that. There's a middle finger frog. Alright, and thus begins the cycle anew. So there's... Oh, there's... Uh, wow, that's a, that's a nasty place to go to for that life. I think this is the first time we've encountered such an obstacle. Of crisscrossing... Okay, we got uh, falling sections. We got physics! Ooh. Well, there's Red Fella. One of five frogs. I'm guessing these birds are probably a threat. Oh, I got double? I Do I want double bounce? I don't think I like this. That sound that seems like a liability. Okay. So, oh, well, hmm. Am I now to use my super hopping skills to traverse up the bug ramp? Is do they really want me to do that? They do. Oh, God. Maybe I can see what's on top of the bug ramp. Thirty seconds, too. They're not kind with this level. On the plus side, maybe that means it's small. Okay, so there's a, there's a frog at the top of the bug ramp. That's three identified. Yeah, the, the bug, the birds are an enemy. Maybe I can still jump on top of them like other birds, though. 
They're a jump onable enemies. That's what the crocodiles were in Frogger. I, I don't know what my plan was there. Three frogs located, three to go. This, I still don't think this is as bad as the sewer world was. I'm panicking because nowhere feels safe in this level. I could use, like, save states to quickly reload. Just the start of a level. Because, boy, just going through these menus after a game over is annoying. But I don't trust save states enough. Too often have they crashed my emulators. Okay, four frogs. Forgot their stuff over there. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. Could there be more over here somewhere? There's just the formula. Part one, you find all the frog frogs. You don't try to collect them until you know where all five are. I remember... I had the Frogger 2 demo. On PC. And I remember the level in the demo being pretty massive. Like, way bigger than the levels in this game. Oh, that's lethal? It's, it's just grass! You're telling me Frogger can be slain by Aloe Vera? There's red and blue, purple. Green is on top of this ramp. So we're missing... We're looking for red is our last frog. Maybe you can ride the... I still haven't tried to ride the birds. They don't look rideable. I can try to hop on one. They're going at such steep angles, though. Let's find it. Where, where's a good bird to ride? Nope. Birds are just unequivocal death. I haven't 
I don't think I've gotten a really good look over in the middle of these tumbleweeds. He's not like in the center of all this nonsense, is he? He is. There's another bug path. God, the, I never want to see these stupid black bugs again. Just start me over. I'm good to go now. I know where they're all at. Also, it wasn't red, it was orange. Orange is always the outlier. He's the one in the weirdest spot. That's Flogger. He's, he's a bit of a sadist. Got greedy. I don't like that route. I shouldn't take that route. I should go up and around. There's too many cro there's too many uh, tumbleweed crossing over there. I wonder if there's like different endings for this game depending on whether you've gotten all the gold frogs or not. I wonder if uh, Swampy the Crocodile laughs and flies off telling you that there's still hope for his evil plans as long as you haven't collected all the gems. You gotta start like that. You just, just start over. This YouTube video describes the arcade game Frogger as a maze game. I don't know if I'd describe it in that way exactly. Remember that time Goku got trapped in a maze that had walls that were always shifting? It was a weird thing to suddenly remember, but I suddenly remembered it. Dragon Ball Classic had a lot of uh, quirky arcs. Muscle Tower being a notable one. <laughs> okay, so those bugs come in threes, I think. I now consider the bugs the most dangerous ones. Oh, and I gotta worry about the bird, too? You, st you stupid green frog. I got two lives. But I know where an extra life is, so I'm gonna go get that immediately. Okay. I just got purple and blue. Oh, there's another extra life here. That's great. I'm full of lives. No, don't say that. Oh, you also get an extra life life for rescuing a frog. That's not, I somehow didn't pick up on that mechanic until just now. <gasps> Too fast.
Gotcha. Alright, that level was not too bad. That level was thankfully very small. Alright, crumbled point. Now, is this going to be a, a remake of level 1 of this world with the buffalo? It is, isn't it? Right, extra life immediately, that's nice. Oh, you get points for every single hop with the power-up. Well, that stupid canyon was definitely... the Level 2 is the worst defender in this world so far, so... I'm not as worried about this as I am worried about level 5. That's a, that's a bad one. God damn it. What kind of game needs to include downgrade power-ups? Pa we don't need power-downs. We don't need Rupors. This is why no one likes Skyward Sword, is because Rupors. Among many other things, but... Hello, Polsky. Good. Game. Gnot. We are three levels away from finishing this uh, gem in the history of video games. It's not that bad. I would still call this mostly a good game. Just the difficulty is kind of ludicrous. That's a lot of bugs I gotta worry about. Oh boy, that's a lot of bugs. It's a lot of rocks too. Oh boy, that's a lot of rocks. I don't know where safe. Is anywhere safe? I don't like that snake. That snake is getting dangerously close. God, there's rocks. How many? Why are there so many rocks? Doesn't the mountain ever run out? Okay. So the safe spots are underneath the rocks. There's actually more of them than it, it looks like at a glance. This really is like boss rush tier game design. It's just doing the same levels over except harder. You could just have fewer levels in your game instead of doing this. Just as a thought. Okay, three frogs located. I saw a path up in the top right there. Maybe it's maybe it's uh, points that gets me extra lives. Maybe it's not necessarily rescuing frogs, it's just that rescuing frogs gives me points. Nope. Okay. I just gotta go up here. Oh boy, this is a this is a section. Colliding rocks. Oh, that's death. Okay. Couldn't see there, but that's death. This game was rushed and they had more levels planned. Oh, did, is there a, a cutting room floor page? Is that where you're looking? This is just a whole line of safe spots, actually. That's not too bad. And the, 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 I almost said that back wall is safe. It is not. The, uh, lizard path is still intact. D with even more lizards now!
Because there's a frog up there, I'm sure. I think... Might have found all the frogs by now. I just gotta go up left and right from those falling boulders. Those two look like the hardest, the boulder paths. The snake, the way it, like, pokes over the top, it looks like it's gonna get me. Yeah, just go straight up here. That's not bad. <laughs> okay. So, they go up both sides of the of the hill or they go they fall down both paths tiles that's the word i'm looking for however they both land and explode in the same spot it's a weird path of travel for these rocks I wonder if this font is available anywhere. If anyone has put the Frogger game font online in some form. Some form, I presumably as a font file. <sighs> Did I get the extra life or is that over to the right? I thought there was an extra life at the start of this one. I guess there's not. Just do over. I'm not gonna lose two lives to the buffalo. That ain't hap- that ain't happening. At least it loads quickly. I don't like having to reload the menus and everything, but at least we get into the level pretty quickly. It's like 10 seconds lost. Oh, the extra life is right over here. It's right on my path. So of course I've been getting it every time. Oh, there's red. Ah! I don't... We, we've seen red before. I don't think we can get to him from there. It would be an easy cheese, but... They probably prevented that. Just hop on through. Not an issue. Okay, no, they don't break in exactly the same place. Man! If I told you that was intentional, would you believe me? I got up the left side of the rock so easily the first time, I wasn't even trying. Now I'm actively attempting to look for the opening and I'm just not finding it on the on the right side. They really did give you a freebie with that path through the rocks. I'm not complaining, I'm happy they did that. A camera, please! Oh, the camera shifted. Now, are these death birds or are these rideable birds? I'm guessing they're death birds. They're to make it so that the path doesn't, the the hidey hole doesn't stay safe for too long. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Just because I still need to scope. Okay, yeah, keep going. I still need to scope out the final frog.
If those are death birds, then the hidey hole is more dangerous than just staying in the boulder area. Like, thank God the boulders bounce. If they didn't, this entire world would be even more insane. Significantly so, in fact. Let's hop on through. I gotta find... That's not a safe spot. I gotta find the boulder safe spots all over again. Every level's got them. There's specific predetermined no rock spots. One up. <coughs> okay, so Nick... Do they change? I think there might be multiple boulder paths. I think the boulders might be... Boulders might be... Al yeah, they're alternating. That's why it keeps getting me. Okay, well here's orange, and then is there more this way? What's this bird doing? Where do you go, Mr. Bird? There's... Okay, there's two up here. Maybe the left path goes up to the Golden Frog. Unless I'm miscounting. Entirely possible. I miscounted the spots there. Uh-oh. <sighs> that was scary. So here's purple. So I know two are up the right path. Let me confirm that I know where all the frogs are. Purple one is just kind of sitting. Purple one is nice and easy to get. He's he's my favorite child. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite. But the one that... If, if they're all going to get lost, the one that gets lost in the most convenient location is my favorite. So there's those three. Gotta find this rock path, assuming there is one. Red's over here. We saw red. I guess I did miscount. There's just red over there. And we still have to go up that left path for one of them. I don't think I've successfully gotten red yet, actually. Like, he looks like he's in a very easy spot, but I've, I've not yet successfully made it to said spot. I'm not having a lot of success making it anywhere on this level. They last forever. The the stupid boulder smash. It's like Charizard's Rock Smash and Smash Brothers. Anyone miss Rock Smash? I hear Zard players who miss rock, miss rock Smash.
Tis simply the nature of rocks to last forever. Oh, that was a bad one! Okay. Well, I lost some time, but... Otherwise... I'm not doing too bad for this! I don't like the lizards. They're sneaky lizards. I keep second-guessing the safety. Of the boulder spots. I can't quite tell if the left boulders are alternating like the other path boulders are. <gasps> yeah, I know the red bug thing. I guess it's just they don't... They want to prevent you from just mashing the tongue button all the time, because otherwise there's not really a consequence for doing so. I still don't think it was really necessary to have a points down bug, though. I don't think it was necessary to have points at all in this game, to be honest. Or a timer. Lives. Could be fun just, you know, hopping around trying to find the frog locations. That'd be enough of a game. You don't need more difficulty past that. If they really wanted to be mean, I could jump onto those rocks and explode. I made it past the... Fr oh, there's a second line of lizards? Why? Okay, blue frog acquired. Now what do I want to go for? Well, purple one's easy. I guess next I should do the, the right boulder frogs. I want to get the hard ones out of the way first, is my modus operandi for this game! Alright, alternating. <laughs> the, I'm second-guessing all these boulders! Oh, now it hits there! That was a safe spot the last time! Yeah, they're alternating. Not the best loop for music, but I've heard worse. Maybe I should just dart between the rocks. Maybe that's safer. Boy, I wish the camera didn't change by itself. I hate- I really hate that it does that. I have camera controls. I, I can change them if I need to. I think I'll do the right path first. That one has two frogs on it. I wonder if you can get to the center frog by taking either path. That'd be nice. Then again, this game doesn't do nice, so. Watch, I'm gonna get the four hardest frogs and then somehow kill myself on the way to that little purple one that's just lying there, waiting for me. <laughs> Lingering hitbox.
Where are you gonna land now, Mr. Boulder? Safe spot? Okay, I'm gonna go slow and steady. I've got the pattern for this section down. Just gotta keep it slow. I don't care about no points. Extra lives are nice, but they don't matter if I die getting there. You only get to the center from one side. Yeah, I figured. Almost made a dumb move there. Saved it. So I've got a method for the right side. The right side isn't too bad. Why does he not want to jump there? Okay. I, I pressed left to make a jump and he didn't want to do the jump. Definitely the game's fault. Not mine. Never my fault. I'm gonna... I was going to say I'm going to preempt the camera, but that didn't work out because I did it at a place that a rock was going to land. Alright, left path first. I'm now more confident in the right path than the left path, even doing it twice. So glad it doesn't kill me for jumping onto those rocks. I don't know what my plan was there. This is a very tense game. If that was their goal, they succeeded. If this was what the life of a frog was like, they'd be extinct. No chance. I hit left one too many times. Thank God I did not jump off! He doesn't like to jump fast there. Don't know why. Slow and steady. I did it. Okay. I want to say that's the hardest frog. Now granted, I still haven't managed to get red once yet. But he doesn't seem too bad. Okay, gonna preempt the camera, because the camera is my worst enemy. Alright, I got my pattern. I saw where that rock landed. That one is a little close for some reason. I don't know why the pattern varies there. Come on, bird. This music is way too happy for this level. This should be playing Nobuo Uematsu music, a level like this.
Imagine that pairing. It's Konami. They could put... Oh, man. They could put the Castlevania composers on this. Imagine a Frogger game with tracks like that. Granted, I like the stanky bass. I like that being an identifier for a game's, like, oral identity. It's a weird thing to think about, but I, I do think it's important that a game's soundtrack has, like, a distinction to it, a style. It's not the most important thing in a game, but... It can help make a game a lot more memorable. Crash and Spyro, I think, do wonderful jobs of having very distinct and memorable styles to their soundtracks. Like, you can hear something and you can say that's Crash music. Like the Rugrats theme. I can hear that and say that's Crash music. Because it kind of is. Same composer. I want to... You know what did a thought occurred to me? I don't remember at all what the soundtrack to All Grown Up was like. Did that? Did they keep... Mark Mothersbog? Bomb? Bog? Bog? Toilet Man. Was it the same... Was the All Grown Up have the same composer as the original Rugrat soundtrack, I wonder? Because he had, like, a whole company of composers, like, composing in his stead by that point. Man! I'll try the left side. Not going great. Yeah. And we've still got a theoretically harder level coming after this. So I take it you've played this game a lot, Polsky. Why? I don't know why. I, for a split second, I, I think I wonder if I can eat the snakes. I keep thinking that, and it keeps screwing me over because I, I eat the red bug, attempting that. Close one. No? This is the close one. Weird variance in the pattern. This was my first video game. I see. My first was either something on the NES, like Mario Brothers, or, uh, DOS games, because I am a dinosaur. I don't... I don't have a consistent pattern for those last two lines of Buffalo. I just kind of go to the third one and hope. So two of these rocks are very close together, which makes the bobbing and weaving less successful than I'd hoped. Might be better to just find a pattern. 
I guess I should probably do that. <gasps> Too greedy. Uh, just do it over. I'll, I'll make a shot at Red Frog. I haven't made an earnest effort for him yet. I'll, I'll test the safe spots. That's what I'll do. This is a good spot. That's not. There's a small modding community for this game. Is it mostly like uh, custom levels? This would be a great game for a level editor. They do an HD uh, re remake, remake or... Uh, A Frogger 3. This is a very sound model for a game. You could just stay and be more of it is all. Add a level editor, there'd be lots of custom content for a 3D Frogger. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful and I'm gonna watch where these rocks come down. Okay, do they always bounce in that spot? Because that was two in a row that bounced on the same spot, and I thought they alternated. Yeah, it's always that spot. Now, is it always the same bouncing pattern before that spot? Kind of, it looks to be. Yeah? Okay. Alright, so I found a safe spot. I found my pattern, I think. M more or less. I mentioned this in previous Frogger streams. It'd also be entirely possible to do a, uh... They like doing those, uh, Battle Royale games on Nintendo now. There's a lot of arcade games they could do that with. Aside from... I, they already did Tex... Uh, Texas. My favorite Russian, uh, falling block game, Texas. And, uh, Puckman, world famous. They can do that with almost any arcade game, though. It's just kind of a new way to do the high score competition thing. You got Texas 99, you got uh, Meteors 99. Galactic Attackers. I don't like this. I thought I got a very bad pattern for that. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I guess I could do the, the camera change at any time, really.
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get both of these frogs successfully in one go, and then I'm gonna lose all my lives to the lizards on the other path. That's what's gonna happen. You'll see. Still, by the way, have not gotten red frogs successfully once. It's a great sign for the future. I'll go get these points. Points matter in this game, at least as far as getting extra lives, which are of value. I don't have a reliable way of this path yet, so I'm just gonna have to do my best, and that was not my best. Don't forget about the golden frog. Is it on this level? I don't know which level it's on for sure. This is awful. This is an awful pattern. I'll come back for the golden frog if I need to. Uh, question. Is there, like, a variance in the endings? Based on whether you got all the golden frogs or not? I don't even the ending. I don't know, you know if there is an ending to this game. But I'm expecting, like, a cutscene or something. I've, I've never completed this game, so I have no idea what that banana is at the bottom. Okay, well, I found a pattern up the right path. I guess now I need to find one up the up the left. Okay, so right next to the fly appears to be safe. That is not safe, however. That my tactic of moving four spaces to find a safe point does not apply there. Maybe I, maybe I just go up the left side. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, next to the cactus is good. Cactus... Safe. For up from that, safe. For up from that, safe. Alright, I, I found my path. It'd be so easy for a bird to be, just come to this side, too. Like, why not? It would be, like, nice and symmetrical to have two birds going to the center. Konami hates to make OCD happy. been down this way yet. Maybe this is a golden frog spot. I guess it's good to get frogs as soon as I reasonably can because each one you get is worth points and therefore extra lives. <laughs> I just, I, there just comes a point where I blow all my lives on the buffalo. Of all things! And I've still got red guy to get.
Well, I have the pattern down for these guys, at least, so... This, this path is almost not a threat anymore. Which is a startling thing to say about a late-game Frogger level. In any capacity. Any context. Well, in theory, if there is a golden frog on this level, the bird would give me a good view of it. Alright. Good buffalo. RNG question? I don't know how much RNG is even in this game. It seems like everything would check out in a predictable way. It's just ascertaining the logic of the PS1, the mysterious, ever mysterious PS1. Okay, just red guy. The one frog we've yet failed to achieve. Final frog. This is the test. <gasps> and this is the point that we get fucked by buffalo. We gotta do it. We gotta make this happen. We can't die now. It's just the rocks are what worry me. I, know, I saw crocodiles on the YouTube video. That's all I saw. These fucking bugs. God, I hate these bugs. Well, the camera is a little more accommodating, I think. It, it lets me see straight down, so I know there's stuff below there, at least. Hot. All right, let's do it. Potential final normal level. Maybe this is a boss. I gotta fight Donkey Kong for the fight for the my my children at the end. It's like Jumpman game. I'm gonna have to super hop over barrels. Oh, did they make those tighter? Can I even not even get an extra jump in between them now? Maybe it's just those two. Yeah, I think it's just there's one pair that is extra tight now. Okay, I actually don't like that I'm, I'm looking straight down, because now I can't see those bugs. I need to be able to see over there, please. So they made the level harder by changing the camera. 75. That's not good when a level in this game has a very long timer. Because that means it's going to be a very difficult level. Why the camera, though? It's so close! If I do it this way, I can't see this first group of bugs coming.
I hate this. This is the, the worst source of difficulty for a game. Fighting the camera. So, welcome to the next hour of the stream. I suppose I should have anticipated as much from the final level in Frogger PS1. Well, I had the gall to think maybe they'll throw us a freebie. Truly a silly notion. Oh, and there's birds. Okay. Thought maybe I'd have a minute to, uh, you know, take in my new surroundings on the new path. They rotate the camera. Very important, rotating the camera. It's like playing Mario 64 with the Mario camera instead of the Lakitu camera. The completely unreasonably close one. Well, oh, rip. I just screwed myself. We spent an hour on the easier version of this level. I have no idea how long this could take. So these guys come in threes, it looks like. And those rocks come in twos. So again, jumps of four panels seem to be the golden number, more or less. Three for these rocks. So now I know the bird is here. Two birds. I guess I should be taking the horrible bug crossing path first. Assuming that's still intact. Which it somewhat looks to be. Just now with added death. 
Okay, here's orange. I have to be able to get down there somehow. Is the white bird still there? I see openings in the in the canyon, which give me some idea of where to start on my way to the crocodile path. This is about where the bird was before. Uh, do I just have to very precisely super jump? How do I go along those? Is this going to take another stream? Is Am I going to have to dedicate a stream just to this level? It's possible. This might be that difficult. I may need to do another part of Frogger to contain this level and the, and the final one. Am I just not supposed to go that way? Is that what the double bugs are supposed to indicate? No entry? I, I had to check in case that was land onable. So there's an orange frog over there. So far, that's the only frog we found, and we know where the boulder path is. We don't know how to get to the bottom of the canyon. But as far as I can tell, the only way left to go is that double bug path. Going to the right here goes to the boulders. There's no apparent way down from here, because the bird's not- the rideable bird is no longer there. And those currently vertical bugs just go to a dead end. I guess I can check this boulder path a little more extensively. I haven't checked behind the cactus, but I don't know if I can go there if it'll just kill me. Is 
Something tells me this could run later than I would have liked this stream to go. <gasps> I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to super hop and I changed the camera instead. Times like this, I feel like maybe there's a, a mechanic I'm missing or something. But if there was, I assume one of the expert players, many of whom have come into the stream, would have told me something by now. I still don't know what the croak does, if anything. Maybe it is just a taunt in a single-player game. You know, the single-player taunts. Those tumbleweeds down there look fun to deal with if ever I get down to the, where they are. Survive that. What's over here? Anything? Death. I see. So, once I came over here, I sealed my fate. Well, no, I can climb back up. Kind of. They wouldn't make you climb all the way up the boulder path just to then ride a bird down to the floor of the canyon, would they? I mean, it's either that or the bug path. These lingering hitboxes. This camera and these lingering hitboxes. This level in particular makes it harder than ever to say good things about this game. I do like it. I, li I especially liked it before this level. Now I'm, now I'm questioning things. So if I start on the three spot, I can jump over all four bugs and still be safe. One, two. One, two. One. I really do just have to jump over them in very good timing. Oh, that's awful. How can they do that? I... God, I hope I don't have to go that path every time I want to get to the bottom of the canyon. That would be atrocious. And it still has the crossing as well. Oh, that's awful. Who approved that? What sadists they got working at Konami? Stay hydrated.
at least they have 75 seconds, so they have you have time to be a little careful on this level. I say that, but my concern is that they're going to require all 75 seconds for some of these frogs. I got to find a strategy, a very a specific strategy incorporating specific tiles, just like I did with the boulders. That's how you play this game. It's just specific tile memorization. So, I actually do not have enough tiles to jump over five bugs and still be in safety. The fifth jump will put me right in the middle of the crossing. So if I, if I go back one, I'll have a moment of safety. But even that doesn't guarantee that the bugs will line up in a favorable pattern. Okay, and that, now I have to worry about these birds. <gasps> and there's birds on this way too? What is this? How can you do these things? I just, there's gonna be birds everywhere. I got, and the rock path is still here? Oh no. Oh, and here's the path that goes down? Well, what's back here? Am I gonna get killed by something I can't see? I don't even know what the point of that path was. It looked like a big circle. I could probably go another uh, another 20 minutes and still not find every frog on this level. Again, this might have to be its own stream. I hate to say that. I really wanted to finish this today. I wanted to be done and over with Frogger. So I can assume there's at least one at the top of that boulder path that those guys go to. We know there's one... There's orange, the orange one. At the, just at the end of this path. Orange is the easy one. For once. There's presumably down, one down where those crocodiles are. We don't know how to get down there yet. Well, since I have these ones counted, I can just preemptively move the camera. Oh, 
So maybe I shouldn't go immediately down that path. Maybe I should wait for the second opening rather than taking the first one. That's the first opening. Let me try this one. Well, no, that puts me in the same position as before. Well, for the first cycle, it's all right, but... <gasps> it's a bird spot! I hate having to keep track of the birds as well. It's such a clusterfuck, this level. That's the first opening. Okay. <gasps> Too early. <sighs> it seemed like maybe I'd found a way down. I, I couldn't tell. There was those boulders in the way. And that seemingly pointless back path into the mountain. I don't know what that was about. Optimistic. I'm also getting frustrated, which isn't going to make for good streaming. You, you guys don't want to see me be pissy the whole time, so... Probably best not to continue slamming my head against the wall for this level. I'll go a little longer, because I'd at least like to see what was going on with those rolling boulders. If I can get there again... If I, maybe I'll discover the way to the bottom of the canyon. If I can do that, I'll be satisfied and I'll put this away for the, for the, a later stream. It, this this sucks. This path is is atrocious. God, I hate it. That's, there's so many crocodiles. So I'm trying to time it such that I don't have to end on a double jumper. And I'm failing at that. I just want to get through there one more time. I still think the mechanical levels were the coolest. I think those are my favorite in the game. They're not too impossibly difficult. They got a cool setting. They got lava. Lava's cool. So, I want to go now. <sighs> you ever feel like you're just getting worse and worse at a game? a game over count for this game. I wonder if we've hit 100 yet. It's been a lot. 
Probably not quite 100 yet. The death reels we did. Clobber Carnage in particular. I think only barely made it over 100. And it felt like so much more. And those were death deaths, not uh, not full-on game overs. There'd be a lot more just deaths if I was counting those. There'd be a, an absurd number in this playthrough. Okay, here's my opening! Except it's not, because I did get the timing right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get to the bottom. Safely. I'm gonna get to the bottom alive. And I'm gonna find, like, all of the frogs. Three of the five frogs are gonna be at the bottom of the canyon. And I have to go down this stupid bug path three times without getting a game over. And that's what this level expects me to do. I could resort to save states if I really, really wanted to. It's very much not in the spirit of the game, but what, what do I care about what this game wants of me? This game's a dick. <laughs> Too early! That was my best shot in a while. That was the closest I've come. Maybe I'll breeze through it next time. Maybe I've acquired the skills and I'm just fatigued. That happens. You come back to a game fresh and you just you whiff you breeze through a part that was giving you a world of trouble just like a day ago. No, the bird! I'm okay. I'm alive. Where am I going? Okay. This is the part. I see bird. Oh, there's the there's the, the bird I need. Is this, this spot safe? Yeah, this spot's safe. Those two are not. There's like a whole... Oh, this pattern. Where's this bird at? Oh, it hits both of the bottom ones? Okay. Well, I think I found the path to the bottom. I have to survive that stupid... gauntlet. I have to stay in boulder territory long enough to catch the bird down. Which looks awful. As does the rest of this level. But I have an idea of what to do. Go ahead and save. Always good idea. Save. And unfortunately, I am going to have to come back for one final Frogger stream. And boy, do I hope I can I can beat it then. I'm suddenly ha entertaining doubts that I can even complete this game. I'm, I'm maybe I'm just not good enough. That le that final level could beat me. Or maybe I'll come back and I'll do it in one try. Who knows? But uh, I'll see you in another three months for Frogger Part Last, and we'll we'll do that level and we'll we'll fight Donkey Kong. That'll be the end of the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.